Hi everyone, I'm Joey. Well, um, uh, earlier this year, a family friend passed away and uh, his widow asked me if I could make um, a box for his ashes. So I was more than happy to help. She also asked if I had enough timber to make two, uh, that way she could have one for herself when needed. Um, and I, as far as I know, she's just, wants a box because the box they were given is starting to fall apart so I thought I would make a couple of nice boxes uh, for them so um, this is that project and uh, we'll see you later so I guess I should say off the top that all of this timber is just stuff I found lying around in the racks uh, this is a piece of quarter sawn sapelli which I'm going to use for the sides of the box I still have a few sheets of this um, curly walnut and I really had to pick the pieces from the middle of the piece because the walnut's got some discoloration on each edge so that's why I'm kind of seemingly being wasteful just trying to get an even color between all the veneers and I also have a few strips of this curly maple left over from a job that never happened and so I might as well use that up too. So I get all this ready to put in my big screw press and you might have noticed I have forgotten to put some plastic on the top so when uh, a couple of hours later when I take it out of the press or the next day in fact um, I was a bit shocked that all the pieces stuck to uh, the panel but no fear that most of them came off pretty easily and these two were slightly stuck but nothing major Typically I'd veneer a panel and then cut it down to size uh, on the table saw. Now, these pieces I just felt were too small to, to manage that, so it's a bit difficult trimming it this way, but um, it seemed to work pretty good. I got it pretty close with my knife and then just finished off trimming and cleaning up the edges of the panels uh, with a hand plane. the panels ready I can get the leg stock sorted out just a, an old blank of walnut I had I marked out for the tenons that will be going through the lid of the box but I really still wasn't sure what the shape of the leg was going to be I was planning on just some tapers uh, but wasn't sure how I was going to cut them with such small pieces um, so I actually thought a curve adding a curve to the job would be quite nice um, so after I worked out that that was viable I, I figured uh, the, probably the easiest way was to see and see a curve uh, on two set two faces of the legs and it was a bit of stuffing around it took most of the day to cut the eight legs but uh, it did work Pretty, uh, pretty good for re repetition.
after working out where I could fit some dominoes on the uh, side panels, I transferred the markings to one of the legs and then transferred that mark onto all of the legs. And then I could cut a whole bunch of holes with the domino. So I added all the dominoes to the legs using super glue because the holes interacted with each other. Um, that way I could fit the dominoes in the opposite side and after that was dried up I could cut them back to their nominal length. And then it was time for the first of many dry fits. This way um, I could just make sure everything was going to go together. I ended up having to trim the odd domino just because the alignment was slightly out. Um, so because of that I ended up labeling each of the um, corners so they all went back together. And with them together I can measure the pieces I needed for the base. So I'm adding a, a raised panel for the bottom. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I cut a groove in the panels to take that uh, bottom panel and I needed to add a groove in the top edge of the panels for a small tongue which was going to be a like a dust tongue and that's what I'm making here. needed to make a small allowance in the corner of the legs just so the bottom panel could um, go in there and sit somewhere. I also cut that very corner of the bottom panel off just so it fits uh, into the leg. And then I can get on with the glue up. So I made up some boards that would be the, the lids and I needed to locate those tenons, um, the position on the lid which is not stupendously easy uh, and a whole lot of fussing about transferring lines from the bottom to the top. Uh, then I could get on with drilling most of the waste away and squaring up the mortises by hand and this took a little bit of time. So the lid fits pretty good, but it's uh, hitting on the dust tongue, which I have on the top of the panels. So the easiest way to create uh, a groove for that is on the CNC. So that was pretty quick, pretty straightforward. All right, so my plan is to finish these with a, um, a spray lacquer, but I need a really good base. Uh, I want a, a nice heavy thick coat that I can then buff back and you know we'll do a little bit of grain filling on the veneer and give me a nice base to get that spray lacquer on otherwise you end up using tons of, of the lacquer so I'm using just some leftover marine grade polyurethane that I have I'm going to put a pretty hefty thick coat on everything I wanted to add an inlay in the top of the lid, so just made a very simple square 
0.8 of a millimeter deep. Okay, this is an old jig I used back when I made my federal desk for cutting um, little strips of veneer for inlaying. <clears throat> I'm going to use the same stuff as I did back then, which is some curly maple. So this is just a piece of MDF on top of another piece, and I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a very small rebate on here, which was my practice piece. So there's a, another rebate like that on the bottom side of there, which is just big enough to fit in the groove we routed in the, uh, the box lids. So I can slide my piece of veneer into this little groove and with a sharp knife I can cut my little strip <clears throat> that one almost worked usually get nice pieces like this <laughs> some minor variances in the thickness of things here so I just cleaned everything up with some 320 grit sandpaper and got ready for a finish. last thing to do was to add a small chamfer around the lid of the box. And that was pretty much it. Thanks everyone for watching and I think that's it. I will see you next year. Cheers.